What's up YouTube? Today on the video blog, we are talking about scarves. What's up everyone? We have kind of a fun topic today. We're talking about wearing a scarf. And here in the Denver area, you don't see it happen too often, to be honest. We have kind of a frontier attitude, I think. You don't see a lot of umbrellas for the same reason. But really what that means is that if you do wear a scarf, you will immediately put yourself away from the pack, which is a great thing. You'll look great, and you'll have something to keep your neck warm and use for who knows what, because a scarf is just a great, versatile thing to carry. But for today, I wanna to talk about a handful of the ones that I have and try and go through the, um, the stigma that a scarf is always gonna be something very bulky and very thick and itchy and cause problems because I think as kids, a lot of us have some nightmares of having some very uncomfortable scarves that we were forced to wear. But in reality, there are plenty of really, really soft and comfortable, comfortable ones that will just uh, look great and feel great. So what's not to like about that? What I wanna do, I have a handful here I'm gonna show you. I'll do a close up over on uh, the floor, honestly, and kind of walk you through what makes each one a little bit unique. And then I have on the mannequin, uh, a really good example that I think will make a lot of sense. So let's get into it. All right, so here are four different scarves that I have in my closet. And each one came from a different source. I'll kind of go through and give you an example here. Also, this make me seem uh, very worldly and well-traveled. You'll see in a moment what I mean. But let's start on the left here. So this scarf over here, this is, you can probably tell through video, it's a very bulky scarf, it has a lot of weight to it. And also it'll keep you really warm, obviously. It's also kind of a very traditional looking scarf where you have a very strong plaid pattern. And, you know, it seems like you've probably seen it before. This is something that was a hand-me-down uh, from someone and I've used it really when it gets really cold outside because it is a very densely woven scarf and therefore very, very warm. However, if we keep moving down the line here, this one just to the, uh, the side of it, this was a gift from my brother Brett actually. He got this in Copenhagen. And this is a woven wool scarf. It's very, very light. And you can see already up close, it has a lot more texture and character than something else. And if you're noticing this, other people will notice it as well. And that's why I think a lot of us guys kind of forget that a scarf is really, uh, can certainly be a great conversation piece and can certainly be something that can draw the eye, whether it's with color or a woven pattern, for instance. It is something that is not seen very often in the United States anyway. Uh, in Paris, for instance, and other parts of Europe, uh, you see men wearing scarves all the time. They're very, very common. But the takeaway from this one, I think, is that you can have a very light scarf and still have a very warm uh, structure to it. Now, along those lines, another one that is very, very warm from uh, South America, actually, is this guy. And this, again, is kind of similar to our first one over here, but at the same time, this is much more, you know, it's got a fuzzier look and feel to it. Uh, it's very much your kind of snowy day, I think, very much a snowy day sort of scarf. And it's just super, super soft. I think you guys can see the, uh, the bulk from it, but also the sense that it is a very comfortable scarf. And also these two colors, I should say, uh, this one and then this guy, uh, grays and blacks and whites, of course, will go with anything. And if you're just gonna get one scarf, you should probably do something like this. Now, last but not least, because uh, I have some more I might talk about in the future, but this scarf uh, is from the country of Lao in uh, Southeast Asia. And men in that area of the world tend to wear scarves that are cotton usually, whereas women are wearing uh, silk. And those are very, very colorful, very fine and sophisticated looking, whereas us guys uh, would have something a little bit heftier and a little bit uh, thicker and he uh, kind of heavier, more obvious weave. So this was handmade, and this is a very, very uh, thin scarf. You can kind of see from the bulk is that even if you were to tie a knot with it, I need a videographer, don't I? I have to do everything with uh, my hand, and one hand on the phone, one hand on what I'm doing. But you can get an idea here that even with the bulk of a knot, there is not a lot there. It's a very, very light scarf. And obviously a lot of fun color. I wear a lot of blues. Go figure, I have a blue scarf. But this is one I want to show you on the mannequin in just a sec to give you an idea for a really thin scarf and the use you can get out of it in the office. 
Okay, so here's a scarf on a very versatile and I think familiar sport coat. I've used this in a handful of videos in the past and it's just kind of a, a go-to sport coat, I think, for a lot of guys. But nothing else too fancy here. A white dress shirt and of course a pocket square that kind of matches. But this scarf, what I want to draw your attention to is that because it's very, very thin or certainly thinner than I think what a lot of us think of when we think of a heavy or just a scarf in general, uh, this is the kind of thing that just is easily going to go around your neck and you can tuck it inside uh, the jacket if you like. Of course, you could do a, a different knot or something, which we'll probably cover in the future. But just take a look at the whole thing where this is very thin. It's not uh, creating a lot of bulk under your sport coat. Um, it's going to be very functional. It's going to keep you warm. And it's something that obviously looks a little bit different. It draws the eye to it. It's very unique. And certainly here in the Denver area, it is going to be one of those things that can really set you apart. So what do you think? Is this kind of what you think of when you think of a scarf or is this kind of a different direction? And perhaps I'm kind of nudging you, I hope, into a different uh, way of thinking when it comes to fall and winter style and how you can leverage a scarf, uh, not only for practical purposes, which is always important in menswear, but also to be a little stylish and kind of set you apart from the crowd. All right, let me hear your feedback, your comments, uh, what kind of scarves you guys like and why. I'd love to hear. And um, if you don't wear a scarf currently, uh, would you consider something that's kind of thinner like this? Why or why not? I'd love to hear. All right, everyone, have a great day and thanks for your attention.